Okay, I get a ratio of two exponential functions, and the, the top is uh, continuous everywhere. I know that much. I want to look at the bottom, though, and the bottom can't be zero. So I'm going to, I'm going to say, it could it ever be equal to zero? Let's write this down. Can 4, whoops, <coughs> can 4 to the x ever equal 3? And, you know, if it, if it does, the bottom would be zero. So I'm going to use a log uh, of both sides. So it's going to be x ln 4 equals ln 3. So what's x equal to? ln 3 over ln 4. So to make this problem, I'm going to say it's all the real numbers, except x cannot be ln 3 divided by ln 4. All right? So this, this function here, um, you know, it's, it's continuous on its domain. And I'm going to say it's continuous everywhere except at uh, the point, I should say the value where x is equal to ln 3 over ln 4. Let's take a look, see what they said. The function continues on its domain. Yeah, we've been saying that all along. The function is in, uh, as an infinite discontinuity. By the way, they do ask me to do that. Uh, let me see if they said that. No, they didn't, but I want to go through that with you. So let me talk about an infinite discontinuity. So I'm going to lose the limit as x approaches. Um, I'm going to write it in parentheses over here, ln3 over ln4 from the right side. And that's going to be minus, this is 3 to the x, over 4 to the x, minus 3. Now, the, the top, it's just some finite number. The bottom, looking at it, from, from the right side of it, um, this over here is going to go towards 0 from the right side. So again, the top is going to, towards some finite positive number. Positive, positive, positive. I get a negative over here. So it's going to be minus infinity. Now, if I did the other limit, as x approaches ln3 over ln4 from the left side, and that's minus 3 to the x over 4 to the x minus 3. The, the top, again, going towards some finite positive number. The bottom is definitely going towards 0, but it's going towards 0 through smaller values. All right? So I'm going to say, it's, you know, overall that ratio is negative, and a negative, uh, negative is positive, so plus infinity. So there, that's asymptotic behavior there. It's definitely an infinite discontinuity. Thank you.